Good morning, dear students. Today we are going to learn subject maths standard eighth first lesson rational and irrational numbers. Dear students, your eighth standard textbook has divided into two parts: part one and part two. Let's see contents of part one. There are total. Nine chapters in the part one. Today we will learn first lesson. Rational and irrational numbers. In this lesson, we will study definition of rational numbers, how to represent the rational number on a number line, and comparison of rational numbers. Before learning rational numbers, let's recall number system. Basically, there are three types of numbers: natural numbers, whole numbers, and integers. First one, natural numbers. Natural numbers are starting from one, two, three, four, and infinite. Natural numbers are also called as counting numbers because for counting of anything, we start from one, so it's known as counting numbers. Second one, whole numbers. Whole numbers are starting from zero, one, two, three, four, and infinite. Third one, integers. Integers means the collection of positive numbers, ne negative numbers, and zero. Now let's see what is mean by rational number. A rational number is a number that can be written in the form of a numerator upon a denominator. Here, denominator should not be equal to zero. The numerator and denominator will be integers. A rational number is the form of p upon q. Let's see what is meant by p upon q form. P equal to numerator and q equal to denominator, where p and q are integers. Q is not equal to zero. It means denominator should not be zero. If zero, that fraction is not called as rational number. If denominator is negative, then too it called as rational number. Here are the some examples of rational number: three upon five, three upon minus ten, eleven upon minus fifteen. Here is the definition of rational numbers from your eighth standard textbook. If m is any integer and n is any non-zero integer, it means m and n both are integers. Then the number m upon n is called a rational number. In this diagram, clearly mentioned. What are the rational numbers? Rational numbers includes natural numbers, whole numbers, integers, fractions, and decimal form of recurring. This all comes under rational numbers. Now, children, let's see denotation of symbols in number system. Real number is denoted by capital R. Rational number denoted by Q, integers Z, whole numbers W, and natural numbers N. Now, dear students, let's recall a number line which you have studied in your seventh standard. In the middle of the line is zero. Right hand side of zero is all positive numbers. And left hand side of zero is all negative numbers. If we keep on moving towards the right hand side of zero, the numbers will increase. And left hand side of zero, the numbers will keep on decreasing. Now we will study how to represent the rational numbers on a number line in practice set one point one. Practice set one point one question number one. Show the following numbers on a number line. Draw a separate number line for each example. Question number one is given here. 
थ्री अपॉन टू फाइव अपॉन टू माइनस थ्री अपॉन टू दीज आर द रैशनल नंबर्स वी हैव टू रिप्रेजेंट ऑन अ नंबर लाइन रिमेंबर वन थिंग चिल्ड्रेन ऑलवेज ड्रॉ द नंबर लाइन बाय यूजिंग पेंसिल एंड स्केल एंड ड्रॉ इट सिस्टमेटिकली प्रैक्टिस सेट वन पॉइंट वन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन थ्री अपॉन टू फाइव अपॉन टू माइनस थ्री अपॉन टू दीज आर द रैशनल नंबर्स वी हैव टू रिप्रेजेंट ऑन अ नंबर लाइन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल चिल्ड्रेन ड्रॉ द लाइन विदाउट एनी मेजर एंड एट द सेंटर टेक द जीरो राइट ऑफ द जीरो इज ऑल पॉजिटिव नंबर एंड लेफ्ट ऑफ जीरो इज ऑल नेगेटिव नंबर्स येक सम यूनिट्स ऑन अ नंबर लाइन सो टेक योर स्केल चिल्ड्रेन आई एम टेकिंग वन यूनिट इक्वल टू टू सेंटीमीटर मेजरमेंट इज नॉट रिक्वायर्ड बट इफ यू आर टेकिंग यू गेट द एक्यूरेट नंबर लाइन सो वन यूनिट टू यूनिट्स एंड थ्री यूनिट्स सेम टू द लेफ्ट एंड साइड टेक चिल्ड्रेन थ्री यूनिट्स वन यूनिट टू एंड थ्री यर राइट हैंड साइड आई हैव टेकन थ्री यूनिट एंड लेफ्ट हैंड साइड आई हैव टेकन थ्री यूनिट्स नाउ वन Two and three. This is the one, two, three. Minus one, minus two, minus three. One. Two and three. Now, your children, three upon two. The denominator is two. What is the denominator? Two. It means the distance of one unit we will divide into two parts. So here I am taking a one point. So this is a one part and this is a two part. Means this distance of one unit is divided into two parts. Here also same. Here also same. Here also divide, divide, and now the first rational number is three upon two. So start from here, one, two, three. So this is three upon two, and do the circle. Next, five upon two. so start begin again from here 1 2 3 4 5 do the circle to that point and 5 upon 2 now minus 3 upon 2 the negative numbers will be left of zero so 1 2 3 here is the minus 3 minus 3 upon 2 this way children we have to represent the numbers on a number line question number 2 7 upon 5 minus 2 upon 5 minus 4 upon 5 these are the rational numbers we have to represent on a number line draw the children a line without any major at the center take zero right hand side is all positive number and left hand side is all negative numbers so take the scale and divide this number line into units one unit equal to i am taking 4 cm because the denominator is 5 one unit one unit and two here also same children left hand side take the two units One unit equal to I am taking four centimeter because one unit we have to divide into how many parts? Five parts. Okay. Now one and here two. Same this side also minus one and. Minus two. 
Now the denominator is 5. What is the denominator? 5. It means this distance of one unit we have to divide into how many parts? 5 equal parts. So divide children 5 parts. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Again listen, this unit we have to divide into how many parts? 5 parts because the denominator is 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Same here also. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Same left hand side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This way we have to divide children units into 5 equal parts. Now first rational number is 7 upon 5. Start from here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So here is 7 upon 5. Next minus 2 upon 5. Negative will be left of the 0. 1, 2. So here will be minus 2 upon 5. Next, minus 4 upon 5. So again start from here. 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is minus 4 upon 5. This way we have to represent the rational numbers on a number line. That is set 1.1 question number 3. Minus 5 upon 8. 11 upon 8. Children, first of all, draw the number line. Right of the 0 is all positive and left of 0 is all negative numbers. So, here we have to take some units on a number line. Here, children, 1 unit equal to, I am taking 4 centimeter. Measurement is not required. Here children, this is the one unit and this is another unit. Here write down one and this is your second unit. Same to the left also children, take the units. One unit and second unit. Here also children, take down minus 1 and here minus 2. This way children, we have to divide the number line into units. Here children, the denominator is 8. The rational number denominator is 8. It means the distance of 0 to 1 we have to divide into 8 equal parts. So start from here children 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Here also 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Eight. Same to the left hand side. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So first rational number is minus 5 upon 8. Negative number is to the left of 0. So start from here children. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So minus 5 upon 8 and do the circle. Next rational number is 11 upon 8. So positive number 
so it means right of the zero so start from here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 